Hi, San Francisco. How are you doing? Thank you for being here. I will start with one question. Who did a good job and have kids here? Raise your hand. Don't be shy. Okay, 5%. The other, I guess, are working on it. So, um, my name is Sam. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Joy. At Joy, our mission is to reinvent the way parents share time with their children. No more stress, no more power struggle, only quality, family, time. And today, I'm really excited to be talking about our first product that we love to call the training wheels for good habits. This is Kat, my son. I'm really proud of him. I love him. But I have to admit that when he was younger, we had a hard time teaching him good habits. Sometimes he didn't want to cooperate. He didn't want to dress up. He didn't want to help unset the table. He didn't want to practice his piano. So really, depending on the day, either we were stressed and it would end in power struggles, or we were exhausted and we would give up. Sometimes he would simply forget to do things like to brush his teeth or to feed his fish. And we had to remind him it was requiring a lot of energy. With my daughter, Amy, though, she's four, we decided to be more prepared. We read a lot of books. We spoke with other parents. My wife even took classes on child development techniques, and we discovered the power of routine. Those with kids probably know that having routines in place helps the kids to be more organized, focused, and dependent. It helps them to learn good habits and the concept of time. The catch, though, is that to be efficient, you need consistency and persistency. We decided to test, and it's not easy, when both parents work a lot and have a hard time disconnecting from their job. It's not easy when your kids are constantly exposed to distraction, such as tablets, computers, or have a lot of activities besides school. We tried all the tools on the market to help us with that, from daily routine charts, programmable watches, even apps on smartphone. But none of them gave us entire satisfaction. And we came to the conclusion that we need to empower our kids. We need to provide them with a tool that is wearable, visual, and evolutive. So with Omar, my co-founder, we brainstormed. We came up with an idea. We built prototype thanks to Axe in Shenzhen, China. We tested these prototypes with families and even schools, and the feedback was awesome. We got hundreds and hundreds of comments, and actually we created a community of more than 25,000 parents ready to buy this product. Along the way, we even discovered that this product can be very beneficial for kids suffering from ADHD, autistic spectrum disorder, Down syndrome. So today, it's my great pleasure to introduce you to Octopus, the first icon-based watch that teaches kids good habits and the concept of time. One, it's a watch. It gives the time, but with icons, making it the first watch that young kids can actually read and understand. It links time to events. Two, it's a scheduler. Parents program reminders directly on their smartphone that will pop up on the kid's watch. It fosters responsibility, independence, initiative, self-esteem. And three, it's an assistant. It provides the right methodology to the parents. It helps them prioritize their expectation and to stay consistent with daily routine. Of course, it's fun. It's fun for the kids. It's evolutive. It grows with them. Some features unlocked based on their progress. But we kept it simple, and we kept the level of distraction very low because it's a tool, it's not a toy. How do we make money with this? Obviously, we sell the watch, we sell accessories, and we propose in-app purchase, such as special icon packs, additional routine templates. With this first product, we target the techie families with young kids or, or kids with special needs. It's a huge market, especially in the U.S., our plan is to be distributed in all the big box retail stores by the end of 2017, and this plan starts with a Kickstarter campaign June 7th. So if, like us, you believe success comes from good habits, let's talk. Thank you.